Hi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you're welcome to the Bible verse of the day from the sure word for today's audio daily devotion. The sure word for today is the abundance of the free favor of the Lord. Reading the Bible on a regular and consistent basis has several benefits. First, the Bible shows us God's character and provides God's revelation of himself to his people. In each section of the Bible, we see God's holy, unchanging, faithful, gracious, and loving character. The scriptures are profitable for teaching. When you read the Bible, you hear the word of God. Faith comes from continuously hearing the word of God. Without faith, you cannot please God. Where there is no hope, faith is not necessary because faith is the substance of things hoped for. Reading the Bible is a spiritual discipline, meaning we must be disciplined in approaching it. If you lack the desire to read the Bible, pray and ask God to give you a desire for his word. Then, build a time into your day to read scripture and make this time a priority. With the Bible verse of the day, you can plan your reading and listening routine when you have time to dine with the Word of God. What you read impacts you. If you have yet to subscribe to our channel, please do so and click the bell icon to receive a notification when we post a new video. Thank you for subscribing to The Sure Word for today's YouTube channel. Please remember to share this video with your loved ones, family, friends, colleagues, acquaintances, and social networks. Thank you for sharing. We have included timestamp to this video to help you navigate easily. Welcome to week 24. Welcome to day 106 to 7. Welcome to the sure word for today's Bible verse of the day. A daily inspirational and encouraging Bible verse. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Today's Bible verse for the sure word for today is taken from the book of Romans, chapter 8, reading verse 32. Unless otherwise stated, we read all Bible quotations from the Holy Bible and the King James Version. Quote. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Unquote. The thoughts on the sure word for today's Bible verse of the day. God did not spare Jesus for your sake. How come you think God will not supply all your needs according to his riches and glory? God is not a substitute. You need to prioritize God. God has been faithful enough to forgive you continuously. God has been too kind to you, for you act like you have two essential things to chase after. Stop making God your substitute. Stop chasing material wealth. Stop placing greedy desires above healthy relationships. You need to start prioritizing God and the people God has connected you with to material possessions. God is right now for you. He has always been for you. His love for you is not based on your relationship. Before you start relating to God, he has planned to forgive your sin. God did not forgive your sin because you first came to him and asked for forgiveness. Instead, he made the provision that your sins will be forgiven when you ask for forgiveness. Please. God created a system for your convenience, which is up to you. The call center of God is up 24 hours to receive your request for forgiveness or your prayer request for anything. You are God's royalty, and God made ample provision to serve you as royalty. The trouble is you do not know how valuable and important you are to God. God is working out his ultimate purpose for you, to make you like Christ. Do not be a fool. Fools fail to recognize how expensive the love of God is. He has predestined, called, justified, and will glorify you. When you are facing hard times, you can be led to believe that God is not with you. God was not joking when he said he would never leave nor forsake you. If you want to remain unconvinced that God is not for you, that is your choice. Already you know that God did not spare his son for your sake. 
Despite the knowledge of this truth, you want to convince that God is for you. Your heart must be a rock if you still need convincing. God so loved you that he gave his only begotten son, that if only you can love his son, his word, you will not perish but have everlasting life. This knowledge is somehow complicated because you do not love the word of God. You play church and religion. You do not have an iota of love for the word of God. No amount of fasting, prayers, or speaking in the tongue can replace the word of God. Stop looking for a shortcut, there is no shortcut in this business of loving the Lord. Paul uses the word, graciously, to describe God's giving. Ever and always, what God gives to us is not about what we have given to God. It is not about our sin or lack of sin. The God who is for us, who loves us, gives us all good things based on his goodness and not on ours. They are indeed gifts. It is not about your worship or praise, it is because of his unconditional love for you. God has revealed so much to you, so you should never doubt the depth of his love for you and the enormous gift of grace he has bestowed on all who trust in the Son of his love. He who did not spare his own Son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with him graciously give us all things? Amazing love. Amazing grace. Amazing truth. Amazing God. Christ died for our sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day so that all who believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. It is the redemptive plans of God that are in action here. There is no limit to his amazing grace, no end to his unfailing love, and no boundary to his everlasting mercy, which is new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. It was because of his love for us that God gave his only begotten Son to be the propitiation for our sin, and Paul presents us with a question, if God did not spare his own Son but gave him up for us all, then will he not also with him graciously give us all things? And the answer demands a resounding, yes, he will. Praise his name. Nothing in the universe's vastness compares with the length and breadth and height and depth of God's free an unconditional love towards those that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation. By the merit of his death, Jesus paid our debt for sin, and the wage of sin is death. Yes, he died for us. He died in our place. God did not spare his own son but gave him up for the love of us. So that his death would pay the total price of our sin, and through his glorious resurrection, we would become a new creation in Christ removed from the old creation in Adam, placed into the new creation in Christ, and receive newness of life, spirit, soul, and body. Never should we allow the shadow of familiarity to lessen the luster of this tremendous truth of Christ's sacrifice on the cross for us. Never should we become casual about the power and great glory encased within the gospel of grace, which brought us out of a terrible pit and set our feet on the rock of our salvation. God is for you, since God is for you, none can be against you. Nothing can separate you from the love of Christ. Stop condemning yourself when things are not working out for you. Most of the challenges you experience are not the consequences of your sin. God is entirely for you. God has never been against you. None of your sicknesses is a judgment from a condemning judge. None of your damaged cars or failed appliances is a punishment from God. None of your marital strife is a sign of his wrath. None of your lost jobs is a penalty for sin. None of your wayward children is a crack of the whip of God's retribution. If you are in Christ, God is for you, not against, in and through all things, all ease and all pain. God bless you. Let us pray. Loving Father, thank you for this staggering truth that you chose to give your only begotten Son as the purchase price for me. Forgive me for the times when I have doubted or questioned your love. I praise your name for the full assurance of your never-failing love and boundless grace, which you have poured out on me without measure. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray, Amen. Our mission is delivering the word of God in spirit and truth. Our key scripture is Luke chapter 4, verses 18 and 19. Quote. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, he hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, 
and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Unquote. The sure word for today is the abundance of the free favor of the Lord. Luke chapter 4, verse 19 from the Amplified Bible. Quote. To proclaim the accepted and acceptable year of the Lord, the day when salvation and the free favors of God profusely abound. Unquote. Before you go, if you were ministered to and inspired by this video and want to see more, please subscribe to The Sure Word for today's YouTube channel. You can click the thumbnail on the screen, and if you want to support our work even further, the best way is to share it, speak it, tweet it, like it, and love it. Click the bell icon to get notified anytime we post a new video. Also, we will be glad if you can add your comments. We moderate comments on our platform, so our community is not open to abuse, profanity, and spam. We want our community to be safe and inviting to you. Have a gorgeous day. God bless you.